Well, um, you know, I, I told the team that you know nobody likes losing more than I do, but I actually feel better about tonight's performance, better than what we did on Wednesday, and that's the encouraging part. Um, the start. We, we've had a couple bad starts this week, but I don't think this was such a bad start from an effort and intensity. I think we just didn't make shots. And this is, in my opinion, the best team we've played uh, so far this year. And we got down 10 points early uh, where they made shots, we didn't make shots. And this is a hard team to get in that kind of hole. And I think after that, um, you know, we played pretty well. We played pretty steady basketball from then on. You know, we got. Got Isaac going in the second half, which um, I think really helped us. Um, I, I liked what our young bench came in and, and provided. They gave us some effort, and uh, they didn't back down. Uh, and they're going against a very experienced, very upperclassman late team. You know, you got Wiltshire and Wesley, two transfers that combined for 44. So it's they, got a lot of experience and uh, a very, very good basketball team. So uh, it was encouraging. We, we obviously don't like losing. Um, but I'm more encouraged after seeing our guys fight and some of the things they did in this game, uh, more so than after the tape I watched against Riverside. Steve, how does the experience sort of manifest itself, especially down the stretch? It seemed like you would make Yeah, you know, they're, they're just the composure. Uh, they've been there. Uh, they've kind of been there, done that. Um, we got a lot of guys going through it for the first time, and they've got a lot of guys that they've been in these situations. They, they've been in good, tight, physical games, and they just they know where to go with the basketball. They know how to, you know, they don't panic. They play with great poise, and yet great pace. You know, offensively, they're really hard to guard because they've got so many guys that can make threes. They had, what, five guys make threes tonight, and yet people would tell you their strength is inside. Right. You know, so you're trying to guard them on the block, uh, and they're so big and physical and very talented. Those bigs are talented. So you got to worry about that, and then by the time you worry about that, somebody knocks in a three. Um, so they've got, from an offensive standpoint, they are really good inside out with their offense, uh, and they really battle defensively. They got a lot of experienced guys that they understand kind of time and score, and the necessity of when a stop is really needed. Um, and I think they do a good job with that. What were the problems that their bigs presented for you guys on offense? And like early on, there were a lot of those missed tip-ins. Their missed tippins? Your missed tippins. Oh, well, 7 1, 290, 6 10, 240, 6 10, 240. Um, you know, we, don't see, we haven't seen that all year, not even in Carolina. This team is big, uh, they're physical, uh, and they do a really good job. And that's like I said, I, I thought the first 10 minutes, I liked our effort, I liked our intensity. We just didn't make shots. You know, we shot. 32% in the first half, 52% in the second half. So, you know, we figured things out. Our guys kind of loosened up and made some shots in the second half, shots that, in, in my mind, pretty similar to the shots we were getting in the first half. We just make them in the first half. And this is a really hard team to, we needed to have a first half to where we were even at half, right, you know, one possession, two possession game, uh, being down at 11 fairly early in the second, first half. That, that really puts you in a hole against a team like this. It seemed like Kavon had kind of, you know, they went after him pretty hard inside early on. Then he had kind of migrated out to the perimeter a little bit uh, in the middle. What happened after that? I know, was that just something that they, they did a little bit more to shut him down? Well, no, I think, you know, one, I think, he, you know, they made a switch on Kavon and made a switch on Bryce. You know, they put Bell on Bryce and Pangos on, um, uh, on Isaac. So, you know, I, and I think that's what, one, it's a compliment. And I, I've told Bryce that. I've told... Kavon that. It's a compliment to where all of a sudden you're drawing the best assignment. You know, that, that's a compliment to you of what you've been doing. And so now it's about learning and gaining that experience. Kavon early in the season is probably not getting that. And, you know, now he's getting, it wasn't just Wiltshire guarding him. You know, they, they knew where he was. They, you know, they came at him with blockouts. They made it hard for him to rebound. They really focused on him. But, you know, at the end of the day, he's, you know, he shoots 60% from the field, 50 from three. Uh, gets eight rebounds, 14 points, four assists, probably a season high for assists, uh, two steals. It's a pretty good line for a freshman uh, playing against a top 10 team. So in the end, I thought um, he did a lot of good things, and this will be a good learning experience, not just for him, but I think for the team. You said that you don't really need that much scoring from your bench, but 15 against two, is that a concern, or did the starters kind of just need to score more to make up for that? 
Um, you know, I, I just, you know, I, you can only do so much. And Gigi's not ready to be a scorer. Um, Noah's not ready to be a scorer. Juana will be in there. Juana's got a, um, you know, just like everybody with finals coming up, he's got a lot of work to do that he's been doing academically. So he's working hard, but he's not a scorer. You know, Thomas potentially can be a guy that I think as he develops, I was very impressed with Thomas tonight because I thought he battled. These bigs were really good, and I thought he didn't back down. He battled. He played confident. You know, he gets three blocks in 15 minutes. So I, I don't want to put the pressure. It's not like I don't want him scoring, but I don't want to put the pressure on him that that's what's going to get him minutes uh, because they got enough on him right now. They got enough on their plate. But I do think Thomas will be somebody that – uh, down the road, it's going to be somebody that's going to be scoring for us. But you know, right now, Gigi and Noah, they got to they got to do some of the other things. Um, but I don't think we're going to get a ton of scoring, you know, from our bench. I, I think most of us, if you're just talking scoring, it's going to come from the starters. The one I'm not playing was that just a matchup thing, or was there something? No, we just went with we went with eight. You know, I think he'll be back in there. Uh, we just went with eight tonight. Um, Mainly, it was tough. Uh, we were going back and forth at that. It was our third game in seven days, but you've got a ranked team here at home, and um, we decided that we we're going to go with the starters long tonight because we got a week off. Um, so now we'll give the guys two days off. They'll get a study for finals, and it's been a big week. We've had a big week this week, three games this week, plus we've had guys have some finals and some final papers, and we got all that next week. So we just decided to go with eight. It wasn't anything Wana, you know, hasn't or has done. And I fully expect him to be back in the next game. How do you account for the differences in turnovers in the half? So that, uh, I would have to look at it. That, that seems like second half you guys have come, come out smarter in that regard. Well, we've had, what did we have, nine at half tonight? I think we had nine, maybe, I don't know if I remember right, maybe nine at half. Nine at um, and only three in the second half. You know, again, it's experience versus inexperience. Um, I, I don't know how you account for it any other way. You know, it's Gonzaga starting the game. Top ten in the country. They've been there. They've done that. They've played in games that people are shooting, giving their best shot for. These guys haven't. You know, this this is the first for our team to do that. And I'm not saying it was nerves, but you know, anxiousness. And you saw that a little bit in shooting. And I'm sure you have a little bit that do with um, handling of the basketball, um, feeling yourself out a little bit. And then in the second half. You know, second half, we scored 47, we shoot 52, we got to the free throw line finally, and, and we didn't turn the ball over. So those are encouraging things. We just, I thought the key was we got in a hole in the first half, and this is a hard team to get out of the hole. Thank you, Coach. Thank